What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we're going back to GearFest 2023 because I built a used guitar rig choosing only items out of Sweetwater's used gear exchange in store, and I'm gonna show you what I picked out because it turned out awesome. Let's do it. All right guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Kyle and what I do is I typically take all sorts of awesome high game related guitar gear. I record it with a simple setup and I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. And as some of you may know, I recently had the pleasure of visiting or attending Sweetwater's Gear Fest 2023. They brought a bunch of us content creators out allowed us to collaborate, allowed us to basically run wild in the Sweetwater facility, and that included the Sweetwater store. If you guys have never been to the Sweetwater store in Fort Wayne, Indiana, it is a sight to behold. It is seriously like one of the best music gear stores in the country. If not the best, it's just a really awesome experience. But you guys know me, I'm not really much into guitar stores unless they have a good used gear selection. And it just so turns out that Sweetwater's, even their massive state-of-the-art store, has a great used gear section, but also, and not a lot of people know about this yet, at least in my experience, they have an entire online used gear exchange. Now, this video is actually sponsored by Sweetwater because not only did I use the gear exchange in store for the video, but online there is an entire gear exchange section where you can list your own gear and sell it through Sweetwater's used gear exchange. You can also buy through Sweetwater's used gear exchange. But one of the main selling points of this service is that if you sell your gear through the exchange, if you take that payment via a Sweetwater gift card, you keep 100% of that sale total. Any other online third-party service that you're gonna sell through, they're gonna take a pretty significant chunk of that. So if you end up selling your gear through the Sweetwater Gear Exchange and you wanna take it and reinvest it into another piece of used or new gear through Sweetwater's website, you get 100% of that sale, which means you get more money to spend on more gear. It's a win-win. But even if you decide you want to take that money outside of Sweetwater, you still get 92.5% of the total of that item, which as far as I am aware is better than pretty much any other third-party service right now as well. So it's a pretty sweet deal no matter what way you cut it. And as of today, there are almost 11,000 items listed on the used gear exchange. So there is plenty of stuff to pick from. And pretty soon I'll have my own featured storefront in the gear exchange because I'm gonna be listing a ton of my used gear that I am currently looking to offload as well. So yeah, thanks again to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Thank you to the awesome staff at Sweetwater that allowed me to rearrange their entire used gear room in order to make this video. They really were awesome out there and they were willing to do everything I needed them to do to cater to the video and I'm very appreciative of that. I had a really good time putting this used rig together and uh, without further ado, we're gonna build a used rig. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys, Kyle here again at Gear Fest 2023 here at Sweetwater in beautiful Fort Wayne, Indiana. We are in front of the state of the art, the beautiful, the modern Sweetwater physical storefront. One thing that you may not know about this store though, and as somebody who loves used gear, they actually have a used gear exchange in the store. So we're gonna go into the gear exchange. We're gonna build a whole rig out of only used gear. Let's do it. Got our strings, got our picks. We got the world's largest pedal display. What am I gonna take home? We'll figure that out later. Now we're talking. We got a whole amp wall set up just for you guys to check out. Here we are, the gear exchange. All right, so I'm already seeing some good stuff off the bat. We've got an awesome, this looks to be a Viper 1, yep, Viper 1000. I love these guitars, but we're gonna keep looking. Uh-oh, ooh, the Jim Root Strat. I want one of these for myself. That's a, that's a solid choice. That's number one on the list right now, but we got plenty of stuff to look at still. Now, everything that you guys are seeing right now in this shot, this is all in the physical store, and of course you can get it online. If you're local to the store, you can come in and trade in your gear and everything, but if you guys go online and you wanna shop Sweetwater's entire used gear exchange selection, you'll find thousands of used gear items. I'm sure you'll be able to find yourself a nice little deal like we're about to do, so keep that in mind. 
Man, this is gonna be hard to choose. I'm already seeing so much stuff I want. Let's choose something that I don't have at home though. We'll get something unique. Found it. I actually love that Halo Explorer and I don't think that they make them anymore, so. It's super over the top, so I think that we're gonna take that. All right, now we need to find, we've got our guitar. We need to find it, the most important part of the rig, which is the amp, of course. So, let's take a look and see what they got. You guys know I love the Jet City stuff. We've got Jet City 20, Angle Iron Ball Special Edition. I know that amp pretty well, so that'll be high on the list. Got some stuff on the shelf down here. What do we got? Black Star, Synergy. I found it. The great GT12, GT1200H. That's the grail tone right there. I think we're gonna have to save that for somebody else though. I don't want somebody to pass up a good deal on that thing. Got a Marshall JVM. Got something cool here. What's this, a Hughes and Kettner? Actually, Blackstar St. James 50 is an awesome little portable amp. We'll have a video on that sometime here soon. Switchblade 100. Oh, so this has a, this, ooh, this has tubes in it. That might be an interesting choice. That's on the list for sure. And then we've got an EVH 50 watt EL34. <sighs> of course, you know that I want to take that because that's one of my favorite amps, but let's try to do something cool and unique. So we've got a couple amp options, but let's see what we got for pedals and we'll base the amp off what we can do with the pedals. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. We've got a whole rack of pedals. <sighs> of course, we need an overdrive. And by overdrive, I mean the Turbo Rat. Quick release? I don't know. It's one of my favorite pedals, but that might not apply. Maybe it will, we'll see. If that switchblade sounds bad, then we'll just run that Soldano pedal into the effects loop and we'll use it like that. So we are gonna take that, picking this up. Well, we've got a regular old Boss NS2. We know it works, we know it does the thing, so that'll work for a gate unless we find something better. I'm not really seeing anything as far as overdrives though. So we'll look on the rack. We've got a GE7 EQ. All right, so we've got a possible EQ pedal for our loop here. I've never tried a Timmy overdrive. We might have to throw that up there. Yeah, I see it, man. Thank you. you. Yes, I am. Scotty James. Kyle. I've seen, I've seen, yeah, I've seen your amp. Awesome, man. In fact, you helped sell me on that 65052, man. Yeah, yeah, you like it. You end up getting it? I love it, dude. Awesome, man. Happy to hear it, dude. I feel you. Yo, nice to meet you, Scott, you said? Scotty James. Scotty James, nice to meet you. All right, yeah, take it easy. People actually watch the videos, it's wild. And we've got the eight, the Duncan 805. Oh, now I'm seeing all sorts of stuff. So, 805 for sure, this is the one I want. We've got an MXR 10 band EQ. So that's, that's the one you want, especially if you're putting it in the loop. All right, so we've got our backup preamp pedal. We've got our 10 band EQ. We've got our overdrive. And I was hoping to find like a Rev G8 or something in here as far as a noise gate, but I'm not seeing anything like that. So I think we're gonna have to settle on the old classic, the NS2. All right, so we've got our bundle of pedals. We've got our guitar. Uh, we've got our switchblade amplifier. The only thing that we need now is a cab and then we're all set. I'm like second guessing the guitar choice for right now, but we'll, it is, I like them and I'm an Explorer guy, so. But there's just a bunch of cool stuff in here, so. What's this orange? Open back. It's got cream backs in it though. Open back cabinets are not belligerent, unfortunately, so this will not work for our needs. Let's see what else we got. Great cab, EVH212, is that used? It's used. It's used, all right. That's our cabinet. We got our rig. Let's go set it up and rip through it. All right, so Bryce is pulling our Explorer for us, but I'm pulling an Audible real quick because this Charvel caught my eye, so. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that too. We'll shoot them out since we're in a store and we can do that. So let's do it. Exactly. Be psyched because they asked me to try this all the time. So hopefully it doesn't suck. We gotta get that cab. Still want one of those. I'm gonna run into something. <laughs> yeah. That way it's sliding back towards the back there and it won't fall off. We're good. Belligerent engineering. Sorry guys, excuse me. Thank you very much. Here, I'll take that guitar too. This is the slowest elevator door ever. All right. All right guys, so I have the rig that I picked out down at the gear exchange downstairs in the store. And luckily I've got the help from the fine folks at Sweetwater to bring it up here and actually be able to rip through it a little bit. So we've got it all set up and spoiler alert, 
This amp actually sounds pretty good, so now I understand why you guys are constantly asking me to check out some Hughes and Kettner stuff. So uh, Hughes and Kettner, if you're watching, you should send me a Triumph, that'd be great. We've got everything set up. SM57 on the EVH speaker. I've got the Duncan 805 overdrive on in front of the amp, and this is what we got. Not bad for a five minute dial in of an amp that I've never tried before. So this thing actually sounds pretty awesome. Let's play one riff real quick and then maybe we'll mess around with the amp, go over to the Ultra Channel and then try the Soldano pedal as our backup through the effects loop of this thing and call it a day. But I'd say we picked out a pretty good rig already. <laughs> All right, so not bad. Let's try the Ultra Channel real quick. We'll pull the overdrive off because this channel had plenty of gain to go around. It did. I don't know what I did differently. That's really weird. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're on the Ultra Channel now. I went down to drop D and dialed in kind of a mid-scoop tone. We're gonna play a little hardcore riff. All right, so this amp and cab combination is just working really well together to keep the low end together. Ultra channel, plenty tight without an overdrive. A uh, little bit more saturated and compressed than I personally would like, but it definitely does the thing. Last but not least, let's run all this into the effects loop of the amp and we'll try out that Soldano pedal because I love that Soldano pedal. All right, guys, so our backup option is hooked up. We've got the Soldano SLO pedal going into the tube power section of the Hughes and Kettner. We're boosting it with the Seymour Duncan 805, and here's what we got. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good backup tone option, so. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today on this one. Again, if you guys wanna check out the used gear selection at the Sweetwater Gear Exchange, go online to www.sweetwater.com used, and you can browse thousands of used items all on the Sweetwater website. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. Encore. All right. <laughs> No. <laughs> that was good. All right, cool. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Cool. This, this guitar is sick. Right. This thing feels great. I didn't even use the other guitar. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Whoops.